Okay, uh, today uh, I'm going to introduce the concept of object and classes, okay, uh, which is very important um, to understand. And since pretty much every modeling techniques and uh, tools, they are using uh, something called object-oriented uh, programming uh, techniques. So basically, all the uh, uh, modeling tools these days, their framework is like based on object-oriented programming uh, paradigm. So it's called OOP. <coughs> okay, now, um, so basically, first I would like to introduce the, uh, the concept of class. The class is roughly you can think uh, it's you can think as a type and a template. Actually, this is my own uh, definition. Uh, I mean, this uh, lecture slide is hundred uh, percent. It's made by me. And then um, this is this is this is the way that I like to uh, define a, a class. So the class is basically you can think as a type, or you can think as a just template. So you can think as a class as a type or a template. A class is uh, it's kind of used to create a object. By the way, uh, the the teaching the, the 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 method I'm going to use today is like lawn by example. Okay, so I'm going to use so lawn by example, right? So let's just uh, first create a class, okay? So let's just create a class called car. So we have a class, and the car class describe all the passenger vehicles that have a certain capacity and shape. So I'm driving CRV, the Honda CRV, right? Uh, the Honda CRV you can think is the CRV is an object, right? Is an object of a class or the type right I said the class and type is roughly the same car right so this is like a and then you can also says that the uh, the one instant so one instance of a class car is created so basically that means a room of memory is created for that particular object so this particular object means Honda CRV right of a class car is created. So basically, um, in 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 roughly, right? You can write a pseudocode for this. The pseudocode is let's say the car, right? I have a type car, right? And then uh, what is my uh, the object? So let's say Honda uh, CRV. Right, so now that means I have just created one instance, like one instance means one object of type or the class car. Right, if I just want to um, create another object, right, then I can say, uh, let's say Honda, let's say uh, path. Pathfinder. So I have just created another object, another instance of class car, right? Now, so this is like a typical uh, uh, structure of the class. So first, you have to define a, a class, right? Then you can from the class. Uh, you can uh, create an object, right? One instance of that uh, class. So the first, your first task is to click, uh, create a, a class. The typical the class has uh, two main structure. So so when you write a class, the typically you know, it has two main uh, structure. Right. The first structure, the first uh, part is basically you write attributes. 
So you read all the attributes, right? So, uh, or you, some sometimes it's called properties. So basically, you have to list all the instance variables, okay? And then um, in the second uh, part, you have to uh, write basically the the second part is basically described for the its behavior or you can think you can also you can call it as all the actions okay this part is called a uh, method by the way method is really nothing but a uh, functions right we learn functions right but the difference between the function that we learn and then the function used in the uh, method section, the difference is that this particular functions, or I have to call it a method, is really belong to a, a class, right? This functions exist for the class, but uh, but that's bas that's basically the main difference. Otherwise. Uh, there is not really much difference, right? So functions actually is function. <laughs> okay, so we have attributes and then uh, method. So let's take a look at the example. You know. So let's. Uh, so I said first, you know, to design a, a, a class called a car. I said the first part is the attribute, right? It's all the properties. This is called instance variable. So first, uh, you have to list all the properties. So you know that car has car model, right? This is like one of the attribute or one of the, one of the properties. And then of course, car is a manufacturer. And then probably car has owner. And then uh, probably you know, car has right now, has maybe the current driving speed is a really good um, the attribute, right? to describe a, a, a car. So basically these are the instance variable, the car model, manufacturer, the car owner, and current driving speed. Or you can say you can add a couple of more, like for example, years of, um, the years that car you know, was made, or what else? Um, yeah, I mean, it's or the, so basically you can add all the uh, attributes, right? And then uh, for the behavior, uh, we can set the sp okay. So if this current driving speed, if the variable name is a speed, right? Then actually there is a method or the functions, right? Which set the speed. So you can basically using these uh, actions, or you can use this. Uh, method or you can use this function you can set the speed of your car so since it uh, sets the um, the value of the instance variable this kind of method is called a set method or you can call it a mutator mutator means it can change it can mutate the uh, value of this instance variable. So typically, I mean, don't I mean there? Typically, a lot of people when they um, use the when they write the set method, it's always start with a set. And then, as you can see, the speed, it's really like indicate the variable name. So I'm going to set the speed using this uh, method, this method or this functions. By the way, you don't have to. You can. By the way, this is a function, this set speed is a function name, so you can pretty much choose any name you want. But I think I really like this uh, this name of this function, this name of this method, because it really tells me everything, right? Set means, hey, this indicate this is going to be set method or the mutator. And then I'm going to set the speed, right? So this is a really good name, and I highly recommend that you do the same and there's another type of another type of um, the method 
is called get method. Get method means when you try to retrieve a value of the attributes or instance variable, you use um, uh, you use the function, you use the method. Okay, so for example, uh, just like the uh, set method, it always I mean typically it starts with the get, right? And then the name of the variable that you like to re retrieve or you like to get. So this kind, this this kind of uh, the set method is is also known as get method or the uh, accessor. Okay, I mean you can write uh, another. Let's say you can write another set or the get method. For example, if you want to get a car model. Let's say the car model, the variable, instance variable name is a car, let's say underscore model, right? Then I'm just writing a pseudocode. You can uh, write another set or get method. For example, set, let's say uh, car model, right? And then you can, if you want to retrieve the car model, uh, you can have another, uh, you can have what? Get method, right? So the get car model, right? So this is like uh, the name of your get, um, get method function. Okay. And so basically, oh, and then the last one is a constructor. The constructor is, it's, this is like a must, right? So whenever you uh, define a, a class, in the behavior section, you must have a, a constructor. So when, when, when the object is created, the, the, what the Python uh, compiler is going to do is they're going to first uh, call this, invoke this constructor, right? And they trying to initialize the value of the all the attributes. So when I say the car, right, and then Honda CRV, right. So basically, then the Honda CRV, the object is created, right. Then the first thing that they'll do is they're gonna call the uh, this constructor. And so constructor, the constructor is called, and their job is to what? Uh, to uh, initialize this instance variable, right? So you have to write a constructor in a such a way that when a constructor is a call, all this value should be what? Uh, initialized. For example, um, let's say the car model is what? the Honda CRV and then manufacturer manufacturer is what Honda right and then the car owner is let's say Kevin and the current driving speed right now this car is driving let's say right now 20 miles per hour so basically this attribute this instance variable uh, it, uh, the value of this instance variables are all first initialized by this constructor. Okay, so we'll try. Let's just implement. Okay, let's just implement the, uh, this class, and then we're going to create the object. Let's say Honda CRV or the Honda Pathfinder and etc. Okay, so this is the uh, actual Python code for the class example. So. Uh, First, let's just um, end my lecture here. And in the subsequent uh, lecture, I'm going to talk about the actual uh, implementation of a car class. Okay.